Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way before we get this video done. If you like the video, make sure to smash that like button and then share it on your social media. And while you're sharing it on your social media, go ahead and follow me on the Bird app because uh, I got my verified badge now and uh, we can actually say stuff without getting banned for whatever. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that and click that notification bell for all. And leave some comments under the video if you got any questions or anything like that. Turns out the algorithm really likes it when you do that sort of thing. Alright, those are the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description and use that Ko-Fi link or that subscribe star link. Otherwise, click the join button or the super thanks button underneath the YouTube video. Alright guys, let's get into this. Roll that intro. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Okay, okay, I know what you're going to ask. What have I got for you today? Well, for the last literally 60 days or more, I've been working on remaking my House Carls and Hussies mod. Um, the first one had some problems. It wasn't compatible with Mighty Tweaks, yada, yada, yada. So I've done reworked it. And since it wasn't compatible with Mighty Tweaks, it also wasn't compatible with Skyrim 1.5.97 which a lot of people haven't upgraded from to Skyrim Anniversary Edition or Skyrim 1.6 plus so I went ahead and I update I've been updating House Carls and Hussies one so that it's combat compatible with 1.597 and some issues that I found with the original mod so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff that this mod does. Alright guys, when you first install this mod, it comes in a full mod. Now, I have to point out that when you install this mod, you are going to have to start a new playthrough because of the things that the mod does. The first thing is, we're going to install the mod with uh, Mod Organizer 2 and that is right here and like I said it comes in a full mod so we'll wait for it to extract the files you you have to choose the required files that's the core that you have to have then it gives you an option for the difficulty level if you don't want it to be harder or the ultra level just skip this but the, uh, the core file, the core plugin, the original one, has Mighty Tweaks and Fixes installed with it that, ha that has the magic for the bandits disabled. If you want to use the hard version, this enables magic and is somewhat harder than normal because the bandits all have a whole big list of perks now. The Ultra version is not for milk drinkers. It's too hard for people drinking milk. Yeah, the milk drinkers. Yeah, you know who you are. It's too hard for you. The bandits have increased health stats and all the perks. Uh, rushing into a bandit camp, you better be good because... They're going to they're gonna be able to fight you hand-to-hand -hand real easy. They're death traps, man. I'm going to choose that. And then it has the body slides if you want to change anything. If, you, you know, you don't want, want it the way the mod comes. There's also 3BA uh, body slides for just about everybody, I think. 
So we're going to install this. And once it's installed, it'll show up in your mod order here on the left pane. You activate it. And you're going to want to go ahead and go all the way down. You'll see that it's activated here. And it's I what I do is I lock. I put it at the very end of the load order and I lock it there. It has to be at the end of your load order. The last thing loaded because of what it does. And we'll get into that in a later part of the video. But trust me on this. It has to be at the very end. That's all there is to it. That's the same way with Vortex and Mod Organizer 2. It has to be at the very end. I can't stress that enough. If you don't have it at the very end and you load into game, a couple of things might happen. First thing is it's just going to crash the desktop almost immediately uh, because of what the mod actually does with the miscellaneous objects. Uh, or, or it might let you go for a little bit but if you have anything over coming after it, the face gens are probably going to be screwed up. So, and that's another reason why it has to be on a new game. Because if you install it mid playthrough, it's not going to work for you. It's going to crash to desktop every time because of the scripts on the miscellaneous objects. All right, so that's the installation. Okay, guys, so the big one of the first things you'll notice with my mod is that it will add this little ball, spinning ball here, to all of the player homes. And once you have access to the player home, like I'm in Bree's home right now, you will be able to enter Nine Dolores Secret Room. Let's go in here and I'll show you everything that's in this secret room because it's actually really important there's a lot of stuff in this room all right here we are and as you can see i have banners up of places that you can go to the ratchy natch frozen hearth breeze home of course vendra hall honeyside Proud Spire Manor, and all the rest of them. Now, if you go to, like, Lakeview Manor and you haven't built it yet, it'll go into the interior cell, but when you exit that interior cell, it just goes to whatever spot is on the map, and then the house isn't there, so it doesn't build it for you. Now, if you go to Honeyside or, like, Solitude, you can't go out into the exterior world because the exterior door requires a key. So I thought about that, and right here we got us a we got us a container that refreshes daily, 24 hours, has keys to all this all of the Proud Spire Manor and everything. So if you lose the keys, you got extras. And it, this is a player home. So, if you sleep in this bed, you will get the well-rested bonus. I'm not going to do it, but, well, we'll do it for like three hours. And there you go. Well-rested. You got you a, a chest here. There's a fire pot here to warm your hands for Frostfall. If you don't have a wooder's woodcutter's axe which I don't you can get one here and you can plant some stuff here that'll work another fire pot warm your hands and this is a this is all ingredients from the game that is in a refreshing container and then this uh bottle right here it says satchel i just forgot to rename it no big deal has ultimate healing magic and stamina potions and 10 cure diseases 
This refreshes daily, safe storage. So you got your alchemy lab. Then there's the buttons. Yes, if you if you do this, like I have one perk right now, so I'm gonna give myself one perk and it'll give me four. So it's three, five, and ten anyway. But it'll give you perk points, dragon souls, you can increase your health, magic of stamina, and cleanse your crimes. Wait, I know you. No, you don't. And of course, all the other skills you can increase with these buttons. Now the fire pot. We got our arcane enchanter and there's uh, a pair of my mighty enchanter gloves on here for you to use. And then there's one in this uh, safe storage of all the all the good um, enchantments for you to break. And you break, you can break the mighty enchanter's gloves and get the fortify enchanting um, enchantment. And you have a refreshing container of all the soul gems, both empty and filled. You have a uh, container here with all the spell tomes, including down here at the bottom. Including my master, weather master, clear skies, which will let you, once you use it, will let you, uh, it's basically the clear sky shout and spell form. Then we got our work uh, workbench, or safe storage on top. Refreshing blacksmith supplies here. Got a junk barrel, put your junk in there. Disappears after 24 hours. Got safe storage over here. Of course, your tanning rack. Got your ore storage. Your smelter right here. And got a thing to warm up. Now, if you come over here, there's a little passageway down here. And if you don't have one, there's a gold pickaxe. Uh, pickaxe. And you can... mine up all these ores. Sometimes you have to look around, but you'll eventually find it. Moonstone. Alachite. There's no gold ore in here. Or silver ore. So, and the thing about these I'm sorry, the thing about these uh, these ore deposits are, now I'll show you I have no ores. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start mining this. I got this idea off of the Quarage Stone mining for the Hearthfire Homes. And this will basically let you mine as much, say, iron ore as you actually want. Usually when you mine iron ore, you get three of them and it's depleted for, you know, however long the cell respawn time is. This lets you continuously mine iron ore for a while, just like the cord stone does. So, we'll go back to this, and we'll look in our thing here. And I've got eight iron ore here, so that's great. Um, another thing that this mod does is that if you have gold ingots, I'm going to take these ten gold ingots... And if you go over here to the forge, you can you can forge a hundred gold coins with a gold ingot. So, and I don't know what I just made, but that'll be all right. I think it was an NFE token. Anyway, that gave me I had seven hundred and some gold that gave me a thousand gold. Oh, that's that's great and if you have some steel ingots we'll take uh, one steel ingot here and we'll go back over to the forge and before I do this you'll see I have 200 lockpicks 
and you can, with one steel ingot, you can forge a hundred lockpicks. So that's great. Now, if you have the proper stuff, you can you can forge some armors and stuff too that come with the mod. Uh, you'll have to look in the menu; it's under Nine Delore. But this is a follower's room has 20 beds and each one of these things here has some gold in it and various various things but they all got 500 gold they're not refreshing so and then we got our food storage and our food uh supply storage that will refresh every day so you can keep up to 20 followers here so if you're using like AFT or Nether's Follower Framework or My Home is Your Home, you can have followers. You can make this as a follower's home and they'll they'll live in here. Now, like I said, this is all accessible from the different player homes. Let's go back to Bree's home. And this will take you right back out to Bree's home. Now let's go take a look at some of the other stuff this mod does. Okay, guys, another thing that this mod does is that it makes it so that NPCs walk at the same speed you do and run at the same speed you do as well as sprint. So I can go ahead and I can walk along with this guy. And you walk at the same, they walk at the same speed you do. Uh, the reason I did this was because every time uh, they say, well, follow me. You know, they in a quest, they say, well, follow me. And then they walk. They always walk faster than you. So I made him so NPCs will walk and run at the same speed that you do. All right, let's go. Let's go take a look at something. Um, the main idea of this mod is to replace all of the house carls with custom versions but i also replaced a lot of uh followers that people like to use a lot like janessa so we're gonna go here into the drunken huntsman because this is where you can usually find janessa and i'll get back to you when i get inside all right, here we are in the Drunken Huntsman. Usually, Janessa's sitting right here. And uh, I'll go ahead and talk to her. Blade and shadow. You have chosen and wisely. go ahead and Lead hire on, her. And I shall she has custom feet. armor and custom weapons. Lead on, so, good about it. <gasps> so now we're going to go outside and take a look at her. And once they're outside, take, turn around, take a look at her. Nessa looks a lot better and she has Don't get too far ahead. We're one of the same kind, you and I. She has physics. I'm glad to have met you. She's covering up. She's like, no, you can't see my titties bounce. But yeah, okay, so we got Janessa. Oh, hold on. Do you get to the cloud district very no, often? No. Get out of my way, hey, buddy. It. Hey. Push Nazim down. You always got to push down the zine. Anyway, so now we're going to go up to Yorvaster and we're going to take a look at a couple of the changes I made with the companions. Now, these companions are the ones that you get after you finish the companions quest line. And we're going to go in Yorvaster. I will get back to you when... Uh, I get into your Vasker. All right, here we are in your Vasker, and the first one we're going to take a look at is uh, is uh, Najata Stone Arm. She has cu a custom outfit here with custom weapons, and she's gonna she's gonna be pretty tough. She's gonna fuck this guy up because she has. Increased health and stats. So yeah, and then we're gonna go down to we're gonna go down to
to the barracks down here, the living quarters. And here's the one we were missing before. This is Bria. Got more to say. Uh. All right then. Let's see if we can get her to turn around so we can look at her in the light. Until next time. Oh, this will be a good one. What's on your mind? There we go. And Rhea is Rhea's all changed and everything. She's got her own custom armor, which you can which you can actually craft in the Farewell. forge. So then there's that. Okay guys, here we are back in your Vasker. I'm gonna show you uh the other couple of the other replacers I did. All these younglings scampering around. Of course, there's Najata Stonearm, but I also made try. a replacer That's for Ayala. She looks a whole lot them, better. But they might get themselves killed. Oh, By yeah. You? They should be She's covering so up her tattoo, but yeah, that is that is Ayala, and showing off that booty, I guess. And if you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Maybe we can check her tattoo out here yeah she got a tattoo on her chest so she looks a lot better so that is that is uh Ayala and there's Najata Stonearm okay guys another thing that this mod does uh I'm gonna have to buy a horse to show you what it does so I'm gonna go over here talk to this cat Got the fleetest steeds in all the Skyrim. Yeah, I need a horse. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Yeah, yeah, I got the coin. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Okay. Right. So, through. the first thing it does with the horses is that it makes them essential. No more, no more horses dying all the time. And it also changes their changes their uh faction so that the wolves won't attack them and shit and as you can see with nethers i have janessa has a horse too so now here here's one of the biggest things that you can do with this you can actually zoom out on your horse and you can zoom in pretty far you can zoom out out and yeah so that's what it does with the horses so i'm gonna head for i'm gonna head for uh riverwood and start the main quest and i will get back to you when i get my lydia as a follower okay guys here's another thing that this mod actually does uh it makes the bandits a whole lot more formidable. So we're going to sneak up here and go ahead and launch one of my poison arrows up here to cause them to aggro. And have them come running down towards me. And when I say they're a lot more formidable, watch this. Blocks a lot. So that one's done. And they they have a lot better perks and higher higher uh, health, but. These are low level, these are low level bandits, so. Basically, basically these, since these are so low level bandits. Yeah, he's not going nowhere. But yeah, they, they actually make the bandits harder, like. They they 
have better perks and it depends on what it depends on what version that you use the easy version the the normal version the core version that only has certain uh, the bandits only the it only uh disables magic it doesn't really do anything else with the bandits but as as you can see oh uh, uh, she just kind of fell down there Let's see what she's got and I'm gonna take her her, her cloak because you know I'm using frostfall now all the armors all the armors that are provided by this mod also are Frostfall compatible and or survival mode compatible. Alright guys, once you kill the dragon, you will get introduced to Lydia. And this is my Lydia replacer. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house call. You can see she's got it's a default outfit you. on. She's got tattoos. She's really hot. Yeah. That's pretty good. And follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. And she'll change into her, into her armor. And you'll be able to see her tattoos much better. And of course, it's all physics enabled. And... She's got a tattoo on her back, so yeah, that's pretty much what it does. It has I've replaced every house Carl in the game, and the male house Carls I've also replaced those with female house Carls, including the build your own the uh, Hearthfires house Carls. There are no more. Ma with this mod, there are no more male house carls. So, yeah, that will definitely change things for you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you guys like content, don't forget to smash that like button. And then share it on your social media. And while you're sharing it on your social media, follow me on the Bird app. And, uh... You, so you'll be able to keep track of all my new uploads. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. And click that notification bell for all. And leave some comments on the video if you get any questions or anything like that. And I'll get back to you. Those are the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link or the Subscribe Star link. Or underneath the YouTube video, you can use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. And remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.